Hi everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's all by Donna. And this week I'm gonna be doing a seahorse. And I got this mold from Timu. And I'm gonna be filling this with some epoxy resin. Uh, a one-to-one. -one. And I'm going to be painting on some, this little piggy in Horizon and this little piggy in Harvest Gold. And while I was thinking about doing this, I also remembered that I had some, uh, some beads. And when I was looking at the molds, I thought possibly I could fill in some of these spots with some beads. And I wanted to make a seahorse that was more uh, natural in color and when I owned my seahorses I had a orange seahorse it was a hippocampus uh, cooterite if I remember correctly um, and I purchased that in Hawaii and I will put a link um, if I remember above but I definitely will put it down below where I did purchase it was ocean uh, Ocean Seahorses, I think that was the name of it. Um, I will put the link down below, though, uh, to where I did get those seahorses. But while I was thinking about that, I did think about these beads that I had. I remembered I had some orange beads and some gold beads, and I thought I would fill that in uh, to make this, because they're not just all orange. Uh, they have some different shades in them, some shading. So I'm not sure how many of you are aware, but seahorses, um, they give birth live. And, um... It's not the mothers who give birth, it's the dads. So yes, uh, it's the dads who give birth to live seahorses. So how interesting is that? Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Ships are filling up fast, are you ready for ease? Mm -hmm. Forget bad memories and Leave those hurt and knees behind Birds are filling up the sky Are you willing to try? Why? Sing along as they howl and be fulfilled oh. Steady, we will be the confetti. If we fail, we just reboot. Mm. Grass is green around the side. Are you ready? New 
beginnings new pride let your spirit shine through Nothing can hold us back Oh, nothing can take us down mm, We stand joined Many more will come on Many more under the sun Pack your finest suit Keep it steady, we will be the confetti. And if we fail, we just there's many different kinds of seahorses, and uh, some of them are called Mustangs and Sunbursts. There are spiky seahorses, there's Hippocampus, there's Cooters, there's some called Engines. Uh, some are Illinois. There are Sunfires and Pixies. Pixies are the small ones. Uh, there's Brazilians. And the males do give birth, as I said before. And they give birth to three to hundreds at a time. The babies are called fry and when they're born they're fully formed these little little seahorses and uh, they eat what are called copepods and then as they grow within weeks they start to eat um, this is when you when you have them in your home when you have them in your uh, fish in your tanks um, they eat frozen shrimp, and the shrimp are called mysis. And believe it or not, they eat out of uh, a little dish. You make, you put a little dish in the in the fish tank, and they will go to that dish. And when they see you coming, they know you're gonna, they're going to be fed, and they will go and wait for wait for the food. It's really uh, amazing, and it's magical, and it's mystical to own seahorses. And it's an honor. I'm going to leave a link down below to give you some more seahorse information. and to learn about seahorses, because they really are beautiful. So I took a little of this little piggy velvet, and I put it uh, on danger. every other um, little line on the seahorse. And now I mixed in some of the pigmently black dye, and I also added some alcohol ink and pink and pitch black really didn't come very dark didn't come black looks a little green there which is fine with me because this is the back of the seahorse and you're not going to see this at all uh, when i place this eventually on my uh on an ocean but that's not going to be today that's going to be all for another day today is just the seahorse Now we're putting that on the drying mat and 
let's see what happens. It's going to heat up and it is dry. That's just my extra. Put that to the side and let's see what we have. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we have. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I know I was. It's a little hot, that's why uh, <laughs> it's hard for me to get out of the mold because that heating mat is, uh, makes it quite hot. Now, let's check this out. Here we go. Come on. One, two, three. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. That is her. Perfection. Um, I didn't get those uh, those beads didn't come through as I wanted them to but in all honesty she is gorgeous look how beautiful she is look at her wow I am so happy with her I shut off that heating mat um, and uh, I did play around a little bit trying to get those beads to come uh, to the surface, but it really didn't work out. So I'm just gonna fast forward you through that and uh, I give you the end result. You're gonna love it. few finishing touches with my gold pen and then with my white gel pen and don't forget Tuesday's gonna be Vegemite day come back for the live you're not gonna want to miss it it's not just gonna be me. It's gonna be a few people all tasting Vegemite. Oh yeah. And here is that close up. Look how stunning she is. Look at that shimmer and shine of the piggies. Absolutely beautiful. She really is. Just wait for next week when we put her into the ocean. She's gonna pop beautifully. This is Donna from Hollywood, California, signing off. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. I'd love to see you next week. Bye-bye now, see you soon. Don't forget to hit that notification button and hit all. See you Tuesday for Vegemite Day.